Hello everyone and welcome in a new video. Here we are again, with Volibear in the jungle using teleport to end games that are not meant to be won. Enjoy! After full clearing my jungle I decided to look for Wukong and say hi, but I ended up meeting with the supports doing whatever they always do, roam and feed. This is a typical scenario, when you are level 4 or 5. If your bot lane crashed the wave to the tower, the drake is yours and it can't be contested. Furthermore, I spotted Wukong in the top lane since it is the Donger lane also perma-pushing. My plan this game is to get both heralds if possible, then play over the Donger with my teleport. Me appearing over the bot lane is just a camouflage to my original plan, I noticed that the enemy always forgets that the jungler has a teleport. Wukong tried to gank the Donger twice and died in one of those occasions. Hence, my top laner is in a very strong position and keeping him safe or helping him build a better lead is my top priority right now. Usually I complete my first item around the 11 minute mark if the game is even, and in this game Wukong was the kind of champions that only fights when he is sure that he will win. Mistakes were made, I had a lot of unspent gold and Wukong all in is better than mine. I got dumpstered for no reason by my own miscalculation. One of the reasons I take teleport is that not always your team will be responsive. I tried to make a sort of a play, but against Pike it is hard to pull anything off. Most of our gold is with the Donger. I use teleport to trade the drake versus an inhibitor to set up for the baron play. Against Mord I was sure that I will not win with this setup, but he can't kill me in his realm so it was a time well spent in his domain. Even we were winning in terms of kills and gold in this game, but nothing was done. We had a Shound support, and he was dead most of the time and our carries were fighting over the farm. On the other hand, the only good player on the enemy team was Wukong and Pike, and to apply any pressure they should be removed out of the equation or be visible on the map. I wanted to do Baron but as you can see, I am playing with a zombie team. So better do the Drake than throw the game. Here comes the throw, Diana went Rambo style and int. We have no clear visibility about Pike and Wukong. Our carry, the Donger, didn't set up his turrets. In summary, a disaster waiting to happen.
There is an old saying that in every team there is an inter and every inter doesn't know it is him. This time the monkey king got trapped, and I decided to end the game out of his misplay. Even if I die, I just had to make sure that I take all towers and teleport later to close the game. Now, we are playing the waiting game. We don't need to do anything at all, with time we will take the third inhibitor and close the game. But, again Cyan decided to engage and I started slowly to lose my patience. How is it possible that one person can ruin our lead whenever he got a chance? And here they are again grouped in the mid lane trying to do what they all do best, throwing the game, instead of going bottom and push and secure the Elder Dragon. But you see, there is one ward, my ticket to victory and I was just waiting for this to happen so that I can end the game. Here where the incident happened, I got cocky and failed to finish the game. You should never play with your food. The moment I spawned I went to fix my mistake, I was sure that the enemy team will go to get the Elder Drake. Cyan again asking me to come help them, yet he had the easiest way to access their base but he couldn't remove from his brain the idea of engaging and dying, he just can't. The most important part when backdooring is to keep your eye on the minimap, as long I can see the enemy team and where they are, I can play it slowly into my favor and do whatever I want. Lesson learned and win secure. I felt that this game shouldn't be this hard but this is what you expect in this ELO. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.